Hello, Michael here uh, from uh, filmmakingwithacalculator.com and I'm going to go through what is a film budget top sheet. I've done I don't even know how many of these working on films like Taken and American History X and Havoc and a bunch of other television uh, feature films, etc. So at the very top of uh, the top sheet, which is basically what it says, it's a summary of the budget. Budget has many, many categories, and uh, it's a summary of that. Hence, it's the top sheet on the budget pile. So first we have the header, in which case we have things like the, who the director and the producers are, but also important information like which unions are you dealing with. In this case, we have the Screen Actors Guild, the IOTC, which is the uh, Craft and Technicians Union, Teamsters, who of course are drivers, the Directors Guild of America, and the AFM. The AFM is the American Federation of Musicians, which is used when you have a band appear on a film. It's a different union. Also tells us how many weeks we're editing and shooting and the prep and the location. In this case, Savannah, Georgia, because Georgia, unlike California, offers some pretty good incentives in terms of uh, above and below the line and for independent film. Tells you who prepared the budget with myself. Next we get into what's called the above the line. The above the line is what's called the uh, rights and producer, director, stunts, cast, and the travel and living. And the travel and living encompasses everything to do with those personnel. Uh, one good reason to put travel and living there and not somewhere else in the budget is if it pertains to cast, there could be a lot of perks and there's a lot of uh, security, publicity, assistance, travel, uh, cars that pertain solely to the stars of the film. And I think it's a good thing to have some degree of accountability on what they truly cost, not any kind of hidden costs. So that's uh, included quite a bit um, uh, in that arena of above the line. Next we go to the total production, which is below the line, everything else other than above the line. You'll hear the term below the line too. So that's everything else that costs to make the movie, not just the talent. Above the line is generally regarded as the talent, Below the line is regarded as everything else. In that below the line category, we have total production, which indeed is everything that's on the set to actually make the film. So that can be uh, everything from transportation to wardrobe, lighting, set construction, camera, etc. It also includes extras, which we do not have above the line. So the stand ins and the extras that you use to make the movie are included there. The next part that we have here is post production, which is pretty simple editorial as well as post sound, lab, visual effects, etc. in the main titles. And just below that, we have what we call Total Other. Now, that's not a very romanticized version of filmmaking, but we have the insurance, and E and O, you'll see that on here, is for errors and omissions, so that when you actually make a film, whether it's for uh, something based on some person's life, or you're shooting something in the film that is a corporation, etc., They'll want to have some kind of errors and emissions insurance to make sure you're covering that. Um, there's also tax returns and soft money because sometimes in an audit, or every time in an audit, for an incentive, you have to show that you have proper uh, tax returns filed in the state of Georgia in this case, and um, that you can process the rebate. Uh, includes legal expenses for contracts and uh, production uh, production legal. There can be other kinds of legal. Uh, finally, we come to the total contractual charges. Now, these contractual charges can vary. In this case, uh, a few of them are zeroed out because we don't have any read on those yet in this particular budget, but completion bond, so you can finish the film, the contingency of 10%. Then you get into categories like what does it cost to bank various uh, incentives or pre-sale contracts, uh, minimum guarantees with the bank, and the financing charges that apply to that. So depending on how you're arranging your financing, you might have that. The Screen Actors Guild has a residual deposit these days, um, which uh, is difficult for a lot of producers because you're paying residuals before you've actually shot the film. Um, so it's that deposit that uh, the Screen Actors Guild wants. Uh, at the end of the day, you get it all together and all those numbers add up to the grand total. 
So this is the kind of top sheet that people use and uh, have as an easy reference point. The idea as to doing a budget is that you've accurized your numbers in what the film truly costs versus what people say it's going to cost. And most of the time I find those numbers are uh, pretty far apart. So anyways, that's a basic overview of the top sheet. Go to filmmakingwithacalculator.com. Uh, my name is Michael Mandeville, and thanks for the time.